personally, I want to thank uh, Lieutenant Colonel David Grindle and all the members of the Salvation Army, all those who have supported not only our city, our state, and our nation, but the world in regards to saving souls. Government can't save souls. We can try to get things done, but we need, need the men and women on a mission at all times in saving souls. The one prevalent issue that we face is that our kids really don't have a centralized place to go to. They have nowhere concrete or safe that they can go to in one location. It offers hope, and that, that makes the most difference in the world. Joan Crock knew that they had the same passion, the same energy, the same drive to aspire to do great things in their lives. I think it's a lovely thing because around this area, we don't have a lot of um, places to go and have new things. We have to go, go all the way, like two hour trip, um, out of town somewhere to have a really good time. And around here, we really can't have a good time. And that's where the uh, Croc Center actually really ties in to our mission and our aim of what we're trying to do. Uh, at Finger, which is to prepare students for the work world, the educational world, uh, for years to come. We're challenged with gang violence. We're challenged sometimes with uh, appropriate decisions. Uh, sometimes students are homeless. Sometimes students are truant. Unless you meet those needs, uh, you most definitely can't educate those children. You hear a lot about kids like taking drugs and stuff, and kids need to stop taking drugs because they know it's bad for them. But there's nothing. But and, but sometimes they think it's fun because they don't have anything else to do. And this community center will really help them out. What we really need in that neighborhood is um, is we need an intervention, and I think the Ray and Joan Crock Community Center would be quite that intervention. I think it brings not only a place to gather, a place for workshops, for training and education, a place to be able to come and understand and know that someone else cares. With a center like that, the economy is going to start to turn a bit. I think you'll see more investors come into the area. I think you'll see different things in terms of the housing. I think you'll see businesses start to flourish a little bit. I've always wanted to take music lessons, but like, my mom never really looked into it because, you know, it's so expensive. He was hanging around the neighborhood looking for something to do, and he said, Mr. Lawson, I want to learn how to play drums. So I said, okay, well, that kid now, he can play. I mean, like, seriously play. He can read music. He's participating in music camps. The difference in him is just remarkable. If we had the Croc Center, it would be a safe place for us, and we can stay out longer and have fun longer instead of coming back in when the street lights come on. The Ray and Joan Croc Corps Community Center will redefine people's concept of what a community center can be. The array of sports, educational, arts, and supportive programs has never been offered under one roof. Both the programs and the building have been designed to enrich the mind, body, and spirit to provide hope to transform lives. That's why I support this project and why I'm so proud to be a part of the campaign.